What it do? Dead Tom Crew. Hey man, listen, today I'm here to talk about the recent news of Dana White saying that John Jones versus Stipe Miocic is gonna be happening in November at MSG in the main event for the heavyweight title. Now, I predicted this, okay? I predict I predict I predict these things, you know. I, I try to tell you, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I'm just here to talk about how this is fucking ridiculous, dude. This is actually a joke. Um, the heavyweight division is shambolic, um, ludicrous, ridiculous, atrocious, and frankly, what's another word? Cooked. That's another word that I can think of right now. I'm going to be talking about the Stipe versus Jones matchup, um, why I think it's such a bad idea, why I like who I think is going to win, what I think of the actual fight itself, and then I'm going to be matchmaking what the heavyweight division should be in this video because there's three or four fights that need to be set in stone to get the division moving again and just generally i'm going to be shitting on john jones because he's just a terrible champion um and the promotion is just absolutely bottling the heavyweight picture with this fucking steep a john jones fight now first things first let's talk about the matchup itself um john jones is dead set on fighting steep Miocic. he put out a tweet basically saying like why is John? Why is Tom Aspinall so entitled to fight me? You know, what, like how was it selfish? This guy's a thirty-year-old trying to wait for a forty-two-year-old and thirty-six-year-old. John Jones, you cannot call out Tom Aspinall for trying to fight a thirty-six-year-old at thirty. You are six years younger than Stipe Miocic, and you miraculously only went to heavyweight when Stipe got knocked the fuck out, and Ngannou left the UFC. Isn't it crazy? How when Cain Velasquez was the heavyweight champion in his prime. Nah, dude, I'm staying at light heavyweight. When when Stipe Miocic beats DC three fucking times. No, no, you're not going to move up and fight for the belt then? No, no, no. Okay. Really fucking strange that the guy who waited until Stipe was gone, Nganu was gone, and DC was gone at heavyweight, and Cain Velasquez wasn't champion, all fucking left the division, and now this guy's calling the shots, talking about, bro, how are you trying to fight? How are you trying to pick and choose and fight me, dude? You, you know, you're so freaking entitled to fight me. You lost to Dominic Reyes, you ducked Nganu, you ducked Stipe, and the disappointing thing about this matchup is, if it had happened at 295, and Stipe wasn't limping around, this is a competitive matchup. John Jones did not look that good against Cyril Gunn. He really didn't, bro. Cyril Gunn looked like shit in that fight. Jones looked like shit in that fight. And the finish really hides the performance of that matchup. Like, people look at the finish and go, bro, Jones is goaded. Oh, my fucking God. Right? But when you rewatch that fight back, and I was the same, bro. I got caught up in the moment being like, yo, what the fuck? He's actually back. But then you rewatch that fight and you're like, dude, that, like, that, that's Jones right now? That's his build? That's how fast he's moving? That's what he's doing on the feet? I really feel like Stipe is a legit heavyweight who can actually wrestle. And can actually box. And Jones's boxing is definitely his weakness. But if the matchup happens in 2024, Jones is going to win that shit. He's going to oblique kick the fuck out of Stipe. He's going to be too, you know, too, too strong for him. He's going to be a bit, there's just that bit younger to where he can push the pace. He can mix in takedowns. He can use elbows to cause damage. And I feel like he's just going to dance around the outside of Stipe Miocic, um, who's just not as quick and is not as good at moving around as he used to be. I like that he's bulking up again for this fight because I do think that in his prime, Stipe's a big guy that can stuff takedowns, that can box, that can rip to the body, you know, and can weather an early storm and can kind of change game plans on the fly. So I really feel like Stipe is a good fighter to beat John Jones. Just injuries and time off and all this shit, I just don't think it's a good matchup for him. And he's going to get eye poked as well and it's going to really fuck with him. Whereas John Jones, if he was ever going to lose, it'd be right now. And that's why he's not fighting Tom Aspinall, bro. Because he knows he's fucked. He's literally, he knows he's fucked against Tom Aspinall. That's why he's trying to fight Stipe Miocic. A year later. A year later. Jones, you could literally fight Tom Aspinall in July and fight Stipe in November, dude. You could fight Tom Aspinall before you fight Stipe and fight him. Because clearly for Stipe Miocic, it's not about the belt. He said multiple times, I don't give a fuck about the belt. I just want to fight John Jones. Dana White clearly does not give a fuck about the belt. He just wants Jones versus Stipe. It doesn't need a belt. It does not need a belt. If you, if you lose to Tom Aspinall, there's no shame in that, dude. But ducking him, 
to fight Stipe, there is shame in that. There is a there is shame in that. You are ducking him, dude. And I never thought I would say that about John Jones. But then when you look at his heavyweight fucking debut, like I said, you ducked Stipe, you ducked Francis Ngannou, you ducked Cain Velasquez. Your time has come. There's no way out of this one. You have to fight Tom Aspinall. But he's not going to. That's the thing. He's not going to fight Tom Aspinall. He's got Dana cooked. So, yeah, dude. I, all in all, when I think of the matchup, it's just disappointing. Because a couple of years ago, this would have been a great fight. If they had fought in 2021 or, you know, even fought in 2022, I think this would have been a great matchup. Or if his comeback in 2023 was against Stipe for the belt. How can you really argue with that? How can you argue that Gan deserved it more than Stipe? If Stipe deserves a title shot coming off a loss, right? Why was the idea not to immediately just do Jones versus Stipe for the vacant belt at 285? Because now it's going to be a year... How, how even long is it going to be since we've had a championship defense? It will not have been... It will go from March 2023 to November 2024 without a title defense in the division, bro. Fuck, man. And we thought Nganu was bad fighting once a year, bro. This fucking guy. Holy shit. And the fact he hasn't stri been stripped of the belt or vacated is fucking crazy, dude. Um, because this situation as well, the thing that really annoys me about this, I, I don't give a fuck about him trying to fight Stipe and not fighting Aspinall. That's a smart move right and he's talking about oh we already trained for it we already set it up like we just got to follow through on it all right whatever dude what about the rest of the division i know that's not jones's problem but i'm thinking about the ufc what about the rest of the fucking division what about curtis blade cyril gone sergey pavlovich these guys are all one win away from being in contention for the belt but there's no champion and we don't even know when the fuck if jones is going to retire you know, if Stipe is going to retire, if he wins, like we don't like we have no fucking clue when there will be an actual champion. Tom Aspinall is going to keep what? Keep defending the interim belt. It's just fucking crazy, dude. And, and, and the thing is, it's like this guy built his legacy off legends fighting him. Shogun, you know, Leodo, Rampage, all these guys agreed to fight him, but he won't do the same for Tom Aspinall, who's the interim champion. So, yes, he, he is entitled to fight you. He is actually in line to fight you, not Stipe, who got knocked out three fucking years ago. Again, I can't stress this enough, dude. <laughs> I say this every video. Dude, I've been through entire fucking, like, phases of my life since Stipe last fought, bro. I've had, like, three jobs since Stipe last fought. I, I've dropped out of college twice since Stipe last fought. I've... I, <laughs> I don't want to get too personal, dude. Fuck. Dude, I've had a whole happy relationship begin and end since Stipe last fought. This is a fucking joke, dude. This is fucking ridiculous. So this is what the UFC should be doing. Sergey Pavlovich versus Alexander Volkov. I love the matchup. The winner of that should be the backup to the heavyweight title at UFC 304 in July. It should be Jones versus Aspinall. Jones versus Aspinall in the UK. You can make a stadium show. You can do a giant event. Because if you have Jones versus Aspinall and you have Leon versus Bilal, you can literally put whatever the fuck else you want on the card and it's already sold. It's already sold out. They will, they will come. They will show up. People will come to the arena at 5 a.m. to watch fights if you put Jones versus Aspinall. So do Jones versus Aspinall and the backup will be the winner of Sergei Pavlovich, Alexander Volkov because it's going to be a round one KO either way. Okay? So that's what you do. Jones versus Aspinall in the UK. And then September in Paris... Who's in Paris? Curtis Blades and Cyril Garn will be in Paris. I did not mean it like that. Okay. Cyril Garn and Curtis Blades will be in Paris in the main event. All right. The winner of this is the number one contender to the heavyweight title. Let me just fix this. Sorry. It's a bit off center. Best editor on YouTube. I'll fix that. Um, I'll just edit that part. Anyways, Cyril Garn versus uh, Curtis Blades. Main event in Paris. The winner of this will get a title shot. And if you want to add some fucking icing on top, if you're UFC and you want Stipe versus Jones, do, like I said, do Jones versus Stipe anyways in MSG. Who gives a fuck? Who, who actually gives a fuck? If Jones lost to Aspinall, it doesn't matter. Him versus Stipe is still a big fight, and now people will be more into it because it's not holding up the fucking division. People do not care about that fight because it's holding up the division, and we want to see Aspinall fight for the belt. We do not give a flying fuck about Stipe versus Jones for the belt, dude. If UFC is holding out thinking this is going to be a big event, I promise you, the only reason it will be a big deal is because of the undercard of that. If you put like Volkanovski versus Tapori on the undercard, blah, 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 
I guarantee you all the numbers, all the interest is for that fight and for the undercard. Nobody gives a flying fuck about Jones versus Steep. And if you do, you're actually a bot, bro. I'm not Joe. I think you may be a bot if you're like, dude, I really want to see Stipe versus Jones. I actually think it's a great match. Shut the fuck up. They're 36 and 42. The belt hasn't been defended since March 2023. I don't care. I do not give a fuck. I want to see Aspinall versus Jones, and I want to see Curtis Blades or Cyril Gunn versus the winner of that fight. That's what I want. I don't give a fuck about Stipe Miocic fighting for the belt. I love the guy. I'm a huge Stipe fan. I was a DC fan. I'm a Stipe fan as well. I got to respect him. It's a joke. It's a fucking joke, dude. He doesn't give a fuck about the belt. He just wants to fight Jones. Why are we holding up the division? Dude, Jones versus Aspinall, Blades versus Gunn, and then Stipe can fight Jones, win or lose at, M at, at uh, the July pay-per-view. That's what should be going on in the heavyweight division, man. These are my thoughts. I had to just get, get this rant off real quick. I had to let that green FN go, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I'm going to be making a video about Strickland versus Paulo Costa soon. I've got a banger tier list coming up soon as well, boys. And uh, I'm still working on the Chase Hooper interview. He, ha he has replied to me. I just don't know what to say back to set it up. So uh, I'll, I'll figure it out, guys. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys drop a like if you're enjoying the videos, man. Subscribe to the channel. Um, go follow me on Instagram at BedtimeMMA. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Goodbye.